Yeah. Anyway, we want to keep going over that uh, MLK uh, with the lion dreams and the, the Salah thing. And like I say, you know, I really feel like it's probably even more to that story to probably come out. You know what I mean? Than what we really even have even probably even shown up into this far, man. But the thing is, like, I want to go back over what I was talking about again. Now, when we had left off, I believe we left off about MLK. Oh, we left off about motion. Motion. Because I'm about to tie you into the link with motion MLK. Now, you know, a lot of y'all probably don't get but motion them was like uh, MLK and them. They did like some gangster, like, it was some like gangster type shit that had, you know, basically went down. You know what I'm saying? And um really the reason I wanna say that it, it was a there was a revolutionary purpose, but it was almost like Moses was following his own heart at that time. It's not even that he had probably bad intentions for the people, but he started to follow his own heart. Okay. Now what we I believe what we left off is uh out of the rock so thou shalt give the congregation and their beast drink. Right? Now this was in what, what we want to call, I want to say 2008. Now, 2010, what happened in 2010? You remember? The rock got hit. Remember, it got hit real hard. And the, now, the earthquake that happened in Japan, we remember. Matter of fact, is there any of y'all to say like 2010, 2011, the, some of the wildest shit that's been popping off this millennium was happening in these two years? I mean, keep it real. Keep it real. I mean, even in 2012, I, we yet to see. But we've actually been able to hold up. Oh, okay, oh, okay. The devil's trying to throw a glitch in my shit. Hold up. Look, look, look. You know how they do that shit on YouTube. Look at that shit. I wouldn't even listen to that. Look at that. They try to throw a glitch in, bro. Behind that, it's a lot. You see how they do, man? They be. <laughs> they be knowing what you be doing. They try to throw a glitch on you. But the whole thing is that basically what I'm not trying to say is let's go into the second verse real quick because I'm trying to remember exactly where I left off for y'all on the last vid. As a matter of fact, what the eye was saying on the last vid, what the eye had left off because it was something that the eye was saying that um I want to jump back into. But anyway. It says, so thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink, right? Now, let's go to 2010 or, or 20, you know, numbers 20 and 10, right? And Musanim, right, and Aharon gathered the congregation. Now, check this out. You have, now, at this moment, what we're trying to tell you is at this moment, Jah was not in Musanim. The Jah was not in Musanim. Matter of fact, Musanim to us really, at this moment, in these two verses, he was in another spirit. There was another spirit of Musanim, and it wasn't Jah. And if I show you a type of spirit, matter of fact, if I had to Google image, I want to show you type of spirit. If you ever seen the video Smile with Tupac and Scarface, you ever seen the video Smile? Now, Tupac, the interesting thing about Scarface, because Scarface, the rapper, the black guy, the rapper, the real, the real person, not the fucking movie, y'all, not the movie, but the real person, uh, Scarface, there's a video he did called Smile, right? Now, he's always, if you know anything about his type of rap style, he's always, he, he, he's type, he's kind of like a priest-like with his word. And it, brothers know that. People who, you know, if you ever listened to that type of rap music before, you know, I'm not telling you, you know, you have to, but he's, the brothers actually, you know, he said things that were very, um, what we would call priestly. It's almost like a, he's like got that MLK, old school style kind of, Preacher type man, it's like the old Masons in the South style. Like you remember the Masons, they got together and they wore like they um they coats and they hats and they ties and they got their shotguns together and they was like we ain't gonna have this what they doing to our people down here in the South. Remember that? And they did the movie after them brothers. They did the movie after that. Okay, well that type of style, right? But now there's a gangster mentality to that. This is what I'm trying to tell you. And some of y'all probably, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. There's a gangster mentality to that type of style. Matter of fact, if you ever noticed some of the Brothers and sisters who come out of the penitentiary, they have that type of priest style. Like that, uh, they go up to the podium and say, "Ah, ah, 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 and ah, 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 
I, I remember this, and uh, 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 he said this, and uh, I, I want to say I've been to the top, and uh, you know what I'm talking about. I don't even want to, you know, that type of spirit, but that's that like gangster preacher style. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you is that this is the type of spirit that Musa or Moses had, right? Now, this is not in reference, you know, to, I, I remember you, what I and I were telling you earlier about uh, on the last presentation about uh, Musainum and over here you have Aharon and Musainum. Now, that was something I had said about Musainum being, remember, he had the wisdom of the Egypts, but to explain it is what he was more dumb of. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what he felt, what Moses felt that he was dumb of tongue of was to explain it. And I feel the same way. I had the encouragement given by Hainai brethren, older brethren, Aharon, or Raz Ayadonis. Another thing, Aharon was older than Moses. I used to always think that Moses was younger than Aharon. Now, what is the interesting thing with the connection with Aharon, Miriam, and Moses? Now, remember that, was it in 2010 or 2011 when Whitney Houston died? Remember Whitney Houston died? Now, what happened to Miriam? Check this out. What had really what happened to Miriam? Remember that uh, Jah had put the curse on Miriam, and she was shut down for seven days, and the people were sad about. It. Remember the people were sad because Miriam was shut down for seven days. And was like, come on, you know, turn Miriam black. black I mean, turn Miriam, Miriam back because she was sick. Remember because she was sick, she had became a leper because she had. Um, Basically, they try to get out the Musainum because he married the Ethiopian woman. Okay, it's the same type of thing that the sisters kind of got right now. They kind of got that Marium or that Whitney Houston type of stay in Babylon spirit. But now what happened to Marium? Marium was bought back, right? She was bought back. But now it doesn't mean it. But it doesn't. But Marium didn't carry it out. Remember? Marium was bought back. Now what happened to Whitney Houston? Remember she went over there with her brothers and them with Bobby. And they went over there to Israel and... They had, um, basically she was uh, uh, baptized and she came out of Babylon. Now something brought her back. Remember she came back and she died there. Right? Now Mariam, in, in the aspect of spirituality, Mariam did also die um, not in the promised land. And Musainam was told he was not going to see the promised land. Remember that? Musainam was told he was not going to. Let me tell you why Moses was told basically why he was not going to see the promised land. Musainam was basically told. There's another interesting thing about this Torah portion, too. You understand? Before we get into why Musainum was told, what Torah portion is the Ha-Azinu? Ha Ha-Azinu is it Ademtu and then Harik? And Ha-Azinu, which is a... Which Torah portion? Give out a one, one quick little second real quick. I know the camera kind of looks shaky, but we got to explain these other two verses. Okay, now, basically we have... Right there. We on fifty three. I dim to right now. What's in I dim to? Thirty two, one through thirty two and fifty two. Now this is the song of Musainum. This is a song of Moses. This is Moses' song. And this is where Moses and right before this in Violet, Musainum basically was telling people like, Look, Yasu is gonna lead you into the land. Matter of fact, that's the last um chapter, one through thirty one. One through one through thirty one through thirty one. You know, verse 31, 1 through 31 and 30, okay? That last chapter is where Musainum was basically explaining to people that Yasu was going to lead you in the promised land. Because, now, the interesting thing is that, <laughs> the, the interesting thing is Moses, Moses ended up blaming the people why, basically, uh, why he, he couldn't get into the promised land. Now, the funny thing, thing the funny thing was well, because well, John told him no. Now, the funny thing is that Martin Luther King, his last speech he made, and, and I hope you, if you haven't seen this, you can go look it up for yourself. His last speech he made was a speech about him going over to the, uh, the saying how he had seen the promised land. Now, Moses was brought to where John let him see the promised land, but he was not allowed to enter it. Now, the interesting thing is if you go to that verse or that last thing that Dr. King had said, right? Right before he had died the next day because he had got shot the next day, right? If you go to that, read the verse, the very verse after that. Because in that speech he says one verse, but the verse after that will explain the entire thing. It's like he didn't want to say the next verse, almost, is the way I look at it. And he was sweating that night. He had a fever. He was sick, remember? He was sick. And Ja rest, ja rest his soul. Ja rest his soul because of what, what they caused, man. 
is the they cause the second part of the um they cause the second part of the wandering as well. They cause the first and the second part because now let's go to verse twenty and ten because so we can explain this, so we can break this down a little bit before we get into other details, okay? It says and Moses, right? And Aharon, right, gathered the congregation, right, together before Salah, Salah, right, the rock, right. Now, they gathered, almost like Malcolm X and Martin Luther King gathered the congregation together before um, Ketamawi Hala Selassie, before Ketamawi Hala Selassie. Now, the interesting thing is that when we say, the, what I'm trying to get you to understand here is that when I say that he gathered them together, before um, Ketamawi Hala Selassie, you remember the situation that happened in 74 and 75. Also, did anybody know that His Majesty visited the United States in 1954? This is interesting. You understand? So, they did it before, right? Before the rock, right? Now, check this out. This is an interesting thing. Check out, pay attention to this verse. It says, and he said, right? It says, and he said, now, we're saying that and get a Maui Hale Selassie said, or and Josh said to them. Check this out. He says, Here, now ye rebels. What 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 is a rebel? What kind of rebel were they being? What kind of rebels were they being? Well, they were coming with their own type of priestly order. Their own type of priestly order. You understand? They were almost kind of like gangsters like. You know what I'm saying? They was a little, you know. Now, I don't even want to put it in that respect because somebody might, some may get the wrong, um, they may get the wrong, see, what you have to understand about us is that nothing's new under the sun. It's the same way you see us now today is the same way we was back then. We had a lot of heart with whatever we did. And if you notice that when ones do that gangster thing and have heart, there's a lot of genocide. There's a lot of genocide. They have a lot of heart for what they do. Don't get me wrong. But see, the thing is that Moses, Moses, Let's finish off this verse so we can explain Moses. This is now here, now ye rebels. Now I want you to go look up that word rebels. Go look at that word rebel because it means that the ones who are refractory. Now, there's a vid that I and I had did when I was explaining something about, you know, being too thugged out or being zealous, boastful, or ready to fight for the wrong reason. You're being angrily for the wrong reason, right? Now, the thing is, it says, must we, check this out. This is now ye rebels. Now you can take this as John. Now there's a quotation mark after this. It says, "Here now ye rebels." And it says, "And he said, almost like Salah said, remember because it says they gathered them together before the rock." And it says, "And he said to them, here now ye rebels.' Right? He says, "Here now ye rebels, like ye thugs. You, you listen to me, you thug niggas. Remember I told you stiff neck." You know, you don't want to, you rebellious, you refractory, you listen to me, niggas, listen to me. He says, must we, right? He says, must we. Now, look at, this is like, almost is like their reply to it. He says, must we fetch, check this out, you water out of this rock? Now, it wasn't that they were replying to him that way. It's that they were replying to the people that way. Because remember, in this verse, it signifies that Aharon and Aaron would gather the congregation together before the rock. And that he said, basically, you would assume that it was Musanum. To them, here now, you rebels, right? Must we fetch you water out of this rock? Now, in the Hebrew, it says, Yatsa Mayim, right? It says, Yatsa Mayim Salah. That I want you to want you to understand. It says, Yatsa Mayim Salah, and Yatsa is to go out, like... Yatsa Ma'in, basically he was questioning whether the water or whether the, 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 uh, the Christly, the Christly, or the Christos education or the, that growing up was going to come out of the rock. See, because he didn't believe in the people. See, he believed, he thought he believed in Jah. Yes, he did believe in Jah, but he, he lacked the faith in the people. You remember that Musanim before? He didn't want to even speak to the people, and Job basically had to come to him out the burning bush and say, no, you will, and Aharon, you know, I know you kind of fumbly of speech. The thing is that Moses was gifted in the wisdom of the Egyptians, but he was more fumbly in explanation. And there's another part where it says, now, Musanum was a meek, a meek man, that he was old and he was meek, and he was meek probably in the fact that he lacked, he lacked a certain type of courage to stand fully up to the people to tell them the complete truth. Something like these pastors and preachers right now. 
okay? A lot of them don't have the courage to tell you the truth right now because they probably have made a lot of money off of the people and they've been lying, but this is going to come out. You know what I'm saying? Because the, 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 the revealing motion, you know what I'm saying?